All right, so welcome back. Hoping you're having a, uh, a fabulous day here today. We do, in fact, have the patch notes. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Helps out a ton. Let's check it out. Let's go through everything. So, if you're new to the channel, again, helps out. Thank you for that. Uh, stream was outstanding. Appreciate all the support and everyone jumped in having fun. It means a lot. Here we go. Appearance of two new characters. We have Blue, Aaron, and Green Levi making their appearance over here in game. We have the pickup gotcha being held. We'll open this up over here first. And we have the second gotcha also being held. We'll open up that too. So, pretty cool. Uh, we'll come back to this. We'll check the banners first. Uh, make your bets. Uh, given they showed Roxy on stream, it can't be bad, right? Are they just going to like show Roxy and then fill it with trash? Let's see. Ready? Well, I, I mean... It's not that bad. Relatively speaking, right? Usually it's all sins. You have Awakened Roxy on here, which isn't bad. Green Mono isn't bad either, so that's not, that's not bad. Uh, Red East and a lot of people still don't have her, but we just got her for free, so do you really not have her now? Um, Awakened Lilia is okay. This is terrible. This is terrible. This is terrible, right? Everyone has them. I'm duped out. If it was Green Esquire, nice little gesture, you know, of, of allowing you... Gesture, not gesture, gesture. Of allowing you to get, like, more copies of him to, like, 6-6 him, if you haven't already. But really, it's, it's, it's a garbage banner, right? A good unit, good unit. I don't know about these two. And, yeah, so... For what it is, eh. Moving forward, you can pick up 600 of this. Uh, you get one of these over here, and you have a chance at all uh, five of them. So, that's pretty cool. That's basically what we have here. And this is the same thing, so. That's really it. Um, for that, we have the the Aaron here. Let me read the uh, the translations here. So, let's check this out. We have, let's go. Uh, Dauntless Wing Levi. Passive mission given. At the start of the battle, apply proof uh, oh, this is this is Levi I'm reading. So first, with Levi's passive, we have passive, mission given. At the start of the battle, apply proof of defense to himself for two turns, and for every human ally in the battlefield, increase pierce uh, rate by 30% of the unit before the unit uses skill, uh, removes, what is it, before he uses skill, removes one buff applied to all enemies and applies critical mark for two turns. For every critical mark applied to the enemies, increases critical damage of the unit by 40%. What does proof of defense do? That is 80% critical defense gain, and then it gets immune to debuffs. Mark of critical, 50% critical resistance can't be stacked. Holy Relic is for every debuff um, applied to enemies, increase critical chance by 10%. That's how, that can, that's how that's gonna go. Skill one, I will end this, okay? Inflict deadly blow damage by 450% of attack to single enemy. Uh, deadly blow is times two pierce rate and times two critical damage when attacking an enemy with critical mark. Next up, we have an Infect card over here, AoE Infect, get out of my way. Um, that is going to be 280% Infects, that's it, simple card there. Applies, uh, this is the ultimate, enjoy more. Applies a buff that increases pierce rate by 100% uh, to himself for two turns and inflicts pierce damage by 475% of attack. That's there, so. And then it scales to 4, uh, 75 and 100 uh, from 350 to 15 is what you're getting, so. At a, at a base base level, 350 and 50. So not really too much of a stacked ult there. But uh, for Eren, let's check out uh, let's check out Eren next. So for this one, in, what is it? Inflexible faith, unbreakable faith. I'm guessing. Uh, Eren Jaeger. We have passive thirst for freedom. For every giant or human ally present in the battlefield, increases the unit's base stats by 10%. So sort of a, a buff here for uh, for. I guess Escanor and some sort of giant team, probably Deanne as the uh, the stance unit. Um, when the unit attacks an enemy with buff applied, increased damage by 30% per buff applied to the enemy. Um, adds additional 20% attack related stats. When the ally attacks an enemy with a dominant attribute, um, also giant race is applied to the unit, um, and that's because it actually will also heal 10% of any giant that loses HP. So. A pretty cool little passive there because it also helps uh, your DN uh, keeping her alive in a way and himself because he does turn into a giant when he attacks. He's both races, so keep that in mind also, uh, which is, which is kind of cool. Holy Relic, it's going to be Lightning Gauntlet. When human ally attacks, uh, enemy with single target skill ignores 30% of critical resistance. Pretty cool. Skill one, I really hated you. Inflict overwhelm damage um, by 30, uh, 390% uh, of attack to single enemy. Overwhelm is two times damage and critical damage to enemy with debuff. Skill two, I keep moving forward or proceed forward. Um, applies debuff to single enemy that decreases 40% of uh, defense related stats by three turns and applies damage by 300% of attack. Ultimate, let's end this. Um, applies buffs that increase critical chance by 100% and inflict spike damage to all enemies 
by 340% of attack. So pretty simple kit here, which is pretty good. Um, I question how these units are gonna turn out to be when they actually release, but I think they have power. So 215, 340, 1500. So big differences there in the values, keep that in mind. So let's progress onwards. After reading absolute paragraphs, add, um, they're all gonna be in the coin shop. We wanna exchange for them. That's how that's gonna go. We have all the holy relics uh, over here. I already read for you the main ones, so we don't really care about those. But we have over here, at the start of the battle, increase your special move gauge by two for both errands. Okay. If your allies um, or all allies participating in PvE battle are human, the basic stats of the human participating in battle will increase by 10% for each ally, and damage dealt by single target attacks increased by 15%. Um, by 15, increases by percentage. So that's a little bit of a mistranslation, but I think you get the uh, gist of it. Um, increase your critical damage by 20% for each special move gauge you have. That is Levi's. So pretty simple. We have all the bundles over here to purchase if you would like to. We have another bundle purchase over here, which looks pretty cool, I guess. Uh, we have this Grand Cross Collaboration Returns Login. Uh, 30 summons over here, 3 summons over here. So again, 3 multis. Pretty simple. Collaboration Returns Special Mission. Uh, 4 summons, and then all these rewards also. And then also Levi uh, being the free copy. So yes, we're getting a free Collaboration character. We also have um, the Titan World Quest. Same quest we had back then when it first released, but it is what it is. Pretty cool. Uh, we have 10 gift boxes over here, uh, four copies of this, the costume over here, the two of these, and then one of these, and then 10 gems. So at least we get some gems here. Uh, the gift box has a chance to give this stuff over here, which is pretty cool. We have a free costume over here for Eren, and then again, the um, the relic stuff that's also going to be given. Keep that in mind over here, relic box, which is, again, pretty cool. Bingo event over here, bingo event over here, pretty basic stuff. Hawk treasure event, we always have that, so that is making a return. Um, this is, I'm guessing the bingo event. So one over here for a relic, four relic over here, costume over here, your pendant over here. Pretty decent, uh, rewards. So that's there. One of my favorite things in the entire game's history has to be this. So what this is, is conquest battle. One of the best game modes Netmarble has ever designed, yet they never use it. it this is dropped like one time every year. So enjoy it while it's here. It's never going to come back. <laughs> Keep that in mind. All right. But what we have here is um the it's basically like four players jump in and then they just keep damaging as much as they can i wonder if they buff the character or the uh, the, the titan here because back then like terry used to like just annihilate the boss so i wonder can we actually beat him super fast now that we have super strong characters that do insane damage now so hopefully they give him a little bit of a buff so it's a little bit harder but we'll see what happens uh it gives you materials over here to purchase some um, some other stuff so again that's what it gives you and then again you can purchase these things uh you have holy relic boxes you got all of these over here bunch of materials, bunch of stuff, which is really cool to see. We have this over here, which I think is old, nor do I, I don't remember. I think this is old, but all this stuff over here, uh, go through, get gems and stuff. So more gems, I guess you can say, which is pretty cool. Uh, one gem, one gem, holy relic box, the rest of the costumes. So not that bad. What is this? Uh, this is where to acquire the, uh, the stuff there. We have the same exchange event as always for King, which is pretty cool. We have all the events over here, which is just basic stuff, nothing too special. We have reward character event also, nothing too special. We have more cosmetics being shown. We have Levi, Mikasa. We have Eren, all of Levi's new costumes. We have all of Eren's new costumes, ones for free, right? Uh, these are the old ones coming back for purchase, money purchase only. Um, nothing too spicy, really. And again, they're only for these characters. I'm guessing that they don't share cosmetics, I'm thinking. But we don't know, we'll, ver we'll verify tomorrow, but I think they don't share costumes actually, so. Keep that in mind. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Just just say they don't, right? We have this over here. The new <laughs> costume over here. He looks so weird, bro. It's a fencing costume for Demon King. He looks like a Yeti, bro. He looks like a Yeti. Uh, we have this over here. Improved battle menu. Tower of Ordeal. It's going to be leaving. Keep that in mind. So that's there. Um, improved event lobby also. Added maximum equipment uh, storage. The maximum number of warehouses increased from 200 to 250. You're going to increase it by consuming diamonds. Bug fix, um, bug fix, bug fix, and bug fix. Don't really care. Attack on Titan, collaboration character, status change, Pog, what the hell? We're getting this, no way. Uh, what is this? Attack power for giant ability Eren from 2942 to 3, uh, 218. Penetration rate goes up by 10. Critical chance goes up by 10. Critical damage basically goes up by a crap ton from 25 to 70, which is pretty good. Patience, 30 to 40. 
Critical resistance, 20 to 50. Critical defense, 20 to 50, which is also pretty freaking nice. We have Levi going from attack power 3080 to 3415. Penetration rate is 30 to 70. Critical chance, 10 to 50. Critical damage, 40 to 80. Defense, 2189 to 2308. Patience rate, 30 to 45. Critical resistance, 60 to 65. Critical defense, 40 to 60. Just remember, they could have shared this on the stream. We were all panicking that they literally didn't buff the old characters. And like, remember, slime they showed on the stream. That's why we were all scared. But here they did, it's just they didn't tell us. What the hell? Uh, this is Mikasa. So like, now the PVE unit. Attack power, 2942. 3277 now. Uh, penetration rate, 15 to 65. Now critical chance, 25 to 70. Critical damage, 25 to 75. Patience rate, 35 to 45. Critical resistance, 40 out of 60 and then critical defense 30 to 55 so pretty cool pretty cool um that's there beyond this what do we have uh below this attack on titan collaboration character special tactics and skill balance change let's see this one um special combat with which is skill universal all stats increased by three percent has now been buffed to six percent up to five times so this is Mikasa's, I'm guessing, right? All your stats increase from 3% is now instead 6% for each ally who receives damage up to five times instead of 10 times. So it just procs faster. Is it really gonna help you? Eh, okay, it's okay, I guess. Uh, we'll win no matter what. Damage from 80 to 120, deals damage to all enemies 120 to 180, and then inflicts damage, secret damage to 200, so now 300. So those are the buffs there to Mikasa, okay? Eren giant ability, these are the buffs here. We have... Um, no one left, which will be 120 to 180, then 120 again to 180, but instead reduces special move gauge by one at the uh, end of the enemy turn, uh, 180 to 300 now, and then what is it? Reduces special move gauge by one at the end of the enemy turn. So instead of disable special moves for two turns, which is garbage, it removes one volt gauge, which is not bad. Um, so with these, what is it? Move with these hands. We haven't, what is it? Um... Attack, defense, HP related ability, increase amount according to special skill. Now it's instead of 10, 15, 20, 25, it's 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50. So a bit of a buff there. Last but not least. Oh my God, so much. Defense related ability reduction, debuff, attack skill balance change. Applicable characters will be these ones listed um, for this entire new change, which is going to be 180 to 180. Uh, reduces defense related abilities for two turns. 30 to 30, so that still maintains for two turns, though. And then 40 for two turns is now uh, 40 for three turns. And again, the applicable allies are Hawk and Elizabeth mascot, Ale Collector, Vaughn, or Vaughn, right? The one, uh, what is this? This is Research of Valenti, so. I mean, I guess it's okay. So, yeah, those are the, those are the changes for the older skill kits, which, again, it's not that bad. It looks like Levi didn't really get much of a passive change, just remained the same. But the rest of the update looks pretty cool. We'll see how this uh, releases the B. But uh, for what it is, not not a bad update. Um, definitely, it'll be fun to go through everything again, re-experience all the nostalgia. Hopefully, these characters at least to be pretty good. But that's the update. So let me know what you think. I'll catch you in the next one. Have fun, stay safe, peace, and enjoy. That's been for me, and take care.